This story starts in early 2009. There's a group of people called the Planet Hunters. What sounds like a cool name straight out of Star Trek is actually just a group of several hundred people around the world working on data collected by the Kepler Space Telescope. This group was absolutely losing it after finding something completely unexpected and equally exciting. They'd noticed a star in a galaxy far, far away. A star that looked like nothing they'd ever seen before. The star, later named KIC 8460-852, was blinking in a very strange way. Hunting for planets outside the solar system is an active field of astronomy today. The first exoplanet was discovered in 1992. Now there are some 5,000 confirmed planets orbiting stars other than our own. And the number keeps increasing every year. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope alone was responsible for finding over 2,000. It did so by watching the stars in a patch of the sky for weeks, months or even years at a time. When a planet that goes around one of these stars crosses against the face of its star, it casts a small but definite shadow in the starlight. These shadows are recorded and can be used to calculate the size of the planet. The larger the planet, the more light it blocks. And this star was being consistently flagged by citizen scientists as interesting and bizarre. The star they were looking at did look like an anomaly and was totally not normal. Orbit. Beyond the blue. The transit method is a way to hunt planets that has proven to be revolutionary in astronomy. When a planet passes in front of its parent star, relative to our line of sight, some of the star's light will disappear for a short while. This helps exoplanet hunters to search for worlds around other stars. As of today, we know of thousands of stars with worlds around them and most of them were discovered by transit. And none of them have shown any signs of hosting a planet with intelligent life, except for an extraordinary star, KIC 8460-852, which is nestled 1300 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. At first glance, this star looks like any other normal yellow-white dwarf. However, once we started observing it, we notice that its dimming is wild and mysterious. NASA's Kepler telescope first noticed the mysterious dipping in the star's brightness at random intervals between 2011 and 2013. Normally, with a planet orbiting its star, the dip in the star's luminosity happens at a regular interval. You can also observe transits within our solar system when Venus or Mercury travel between us and the Sun. Transits can help determine the size of an exoplanet's orbit and its size based on its orbital time and how much the star's brightness lowered. However, this star's flux dims by a tremendous amount without any regularly repeating signals. Yes, they are not consistent. Now, planets do not get much bigger than Jupiter. When Jupiter passes in front of our Sun, it makes a 1% drop in the Sun's brightness. However, this star's brightness varied by an unprecedented 22%. That's a massive object orbiting it, and its sheer monstrosity tells us that it cannot be a planet. And what's even more startling is the speed and randomness of its flickering. Scientists have tried and tried and tried to come up with a natural explanation for what's happening around the star. Scenario 1. Tomets. Someone suggested that a barrage of comets is the reason for the strange dipping, but that was quickly ruled out, as it would take tens of thousands of comets to dip the luminosity of the star. 648,000 exo comets to be precise. Scenario 2. Stellar accretion disks. Stellar accretion disks are found around newborn stars, as planets start to form around them. This star, however, is thought to be too old for any remnants of a stellar accretion disk to still be orbiting. So, not a planet, not comets, and not an acceleration disk. Scenario 3, and the most interesting one yet. 
an alien megastructure. A Dyson Sphere would block more light compared to the other scenarios. It also explains the large and irregular dimming. However, scientists believe that it isn't an alien structure, because an object like that would be completely opaque to light, like planets and moons orbiting a star. Astronomers over the years, they studied four different dips in the flux of the planet, and found that dimming was much more definite at some wavelengths, and less intense at others, something that would not happen with a solid object. The data shows that different colors of light are being blocked at different intensities. Therefore, whatever is passing between us and the star is not opaque, as expected of a Dyson sphere, said scientists. Dust particles can cause bluer light to be blocked and redder light to be preferentially transmitted. And that's why scientists now believe that whatever was causing the flux dips had a dusty origin. Does it sound convincing to you? First of all, what do we know about a Dyson Sphere technology? Humanity has only hypothesized its mechanics, while an advanced civilization might have actually constructed one. Secondly, the dips of Tabby's star, named after the NASA scientist Tabitha Boyahian, who found it, might look irregular, but are they, really? What if there is a message encoded in them? What if they are trying to get our attention? It could be a Dyson Sphere. Or not. It's a big, unexplained, and unexplored universe after all. And usually, the more weird things we find, the less strange the phenomenon becomes. But this case is an exception. Turns out more flickering stars have been found. But, they are all in the same region of the galaxy. 15 new candidates with low rates of dipping, otherwise referred to as slow dippers, have been identified. These dippers occupy a limited region of the star chart, and an apparent clustering in space has been found. This latter feature suggests that these stars are attractive targets for SETI searches. Scientists have tried to understand Tabby's star by finding others that are displaying the same odd behavior. Because it is difficult to gain an understanding of an astrophysical phenomenon with only a single example. The 15 candidates found so far are F and G-type stars. Our Sun is a G-type. But, since no fully satisfactory explanation for the behavior of Tabby's star, and by extension the Dipper candidates, has been found, it is very early to even try to explain the existence of the clump. However, the possibility that advanced alien civilizations could have developed interstellar travel and expanded beyond their original planetary systems has been widely discussed in connection with the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue